Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Thanksgiving makeup look. And of course as always I'll be using Bargain Makeup. So we're about a week away from Thanksgiving and I thought it would be fun to kind of come up with a look that would be really pretty for that day. Now I'm staying home so I will not be wearing any makeup that day to be perfectly honest. But if you are, but if you're like going out or you're going to see extended family or you just wear makeup all the time, I, th I thought it would be fun to kind of put together a look using bargain makeup. So of course if you're a returning Dollar Diva, thank you so much for coming on back for another video. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I'm basically a bargain makeup channel. So what that means is I love to do a lot of the same fun content that other makeup channels do. I just like to keep it at a bargain price point. So the closer to a dollar, the better. And so if it sounds like you're in the right place, I do hope you'll become part of our Dollar Diva family here on YouTube. And I will have related content linked down below. That way you can binge watch more content like this if you've been looking for a channel like this for a while. So without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So I'm going to use an eyebrow pencil that I have not used in a while. This is the LA Colors Brow Pencil. This is in dark brown. They've got, several, you know, of course Dollar Tree has several brow pencils. This is the one with the spoolie on the end. It's not my absolute favorite one from LA Colors, but I figured I would use it because I haven't used it in a little while. So Thanksgiving is like kind of like a bonus day off for me. I only get like one day off a week. And if you don't know, I am a performer. I am a full-time singer. So I wear a lot of makeup and hair and stuff for the stage. And so um, I will just be staying home on Thanksgiving. And um, pretty much my mom is going to come over, maybe my brother. And um, and yeah, so I'm not I'm not... I'm not going to be wearing makeup for them. <laughs> so, But there was a time, so when I used to work at the magic show, I was actually a full-time magician's assistant for like several years. And um, I had to work Thanksgiving for many, many years. That's another reason why it's just so nice to stay home and not do anything. But for many years, I would usually have two shows. I would have a 5 o'clock show and an 8 o'clock show on Thanksgiving Day. Same thing with Christmas and Christmas Eve as well. I'd be working on both of those days too. Whereas now I have them off. But... Um, so just to kind of feel like we we're a little bit like human beings on Thanksgiving, we used to like, there's a nearby hotel that would do like a catered dinner. And so we would all dress up like me and the, the cast of the magic show and, and the magician's family who'd be in town and kind of, you know, just a bunch of people. And we would go to like a one o'clock dinner and, um, and then of course go straight to work from there. Um, but it just, so I used to like, so I used to dress up on Thanksgiving for like to do that. But now I'm just so grateful to have those days off. I really like this. I was thinking I didn't really care for this, but I don't know why. I think it reads less warm than the um, one with like the little brush on the end. I'll have to use that more. You know, like I said, I love, I've been loving like revisiting products lately. And there's like nothing new in here. So all this makeup is just makeup that I have that you've seen before. So that's another really good thing. So I'm going to use the Be Pure Essentially Ageless Hydrating Concealer. Of course, I'm going to clean up my brows as always. So I'm trying to get an appointment tomorrow to get my nails filled. It's been like over three weeks. It's been like three weeks and like two days since I got them done. They've held up really well. But I've really tried something this go around. So I noticed that my right hand, if there's any lifting, it's normally my right hand because I'm, I'm right-handed. So... It, there's a lot of wear and tear and stress on my right hand and therefore my nails. This go around, I really tried to like kind of use my left hand more with things. Like when I'm washing dishes, like trying to wash dishes a little bit with my left hand to kind of spread the, um, the stress out. And it's really, it seems to have worked because I don't have any like lifting really going on, so to speak, like I normally would after three weeks. Really even less than three weeks a lot of times. Like I'm really hard on my hands. Even like putting on like my um, shoes, usually I would always use this finger to get my heel, you know, into the shoe and would cause a lot of stress on this finger. I've been trying to use other fingers as well as my other hand and it's really helped a lot. So that's done. Of course, we'll use that to conceal later. Just going to use my LA Colors Eye Primer in Matte Finish. And I'm kind of going for like a cranberry look today. I thought that would be kind of fun. You know, of course, for the fall, I do a lot of like green and copper and all that kind of stuff. And I have some ideas for Christmas. I've actually got a couple different makeup looks for Christmas that I'm planning. So for Thanksgiving, I kind of thought like a nice berry, like cranberry color story would be really, really nice. And not something I do super, super often. I feel like cranberries are kind of nice too. I feel like cranberries work really, really excellent for like darker skin tones. I feel they can work for um, like cool skin tones, warm skin tones. I feel like there's like a cranberry 
color scheme that really can kind of work for all different types of like skin tones and stuff like pale skin you can do like a light cranberry you know of course deeper for darker so I just feel like it's a really nice kind of color story very universal I feel it can be played a little cooler a little warmer all that good stuff kind of this weird thing going on over here with my hair Okay, so I kind of have a few different things I want to try to pull from. I've got the Beauty Intuition Smoky Browns. I've got the LA Colors Playful Palette. And then I've got these two liquid shadows that I don't use very, very much because they're a little bit darker. But it's like that cranberry shade and then like a deep gold shade. Almost copper. Pretty poppin' and mystical. So between all this, I want to get a look. So I'm going to go into the Smoky Browns and I'm going to go over my whole lid with this shade right here. Just lay down that base to make everything else go on smoother. It's probably not going to look like it's doing a whole lot. Actually, it kind of is. That's the point is to just lay down a really, really nice base. So what are your Thanksgiving plans? Definitely let me know. Like I said, my mom usually comes over. I go over and get her in the morning. She only lives about seven minutes away. And I just bring her over and she'll spend the night. We'll spend the day. We'll sit outside all day if it's warm enough. We'll even bundle up if it's a little on the cooler side. So now I'm going to go into the Playful palette. And I think I'm going to go into that shade right there. And so um, my husband's off too, and um, so me, so I'm gonna make an eggplant, eggplant parmesan, I guess you could call it, but I don't use cheese in my eggplant parmesan. So that's gonna kind of be like my my mom really wants that, and it's a good excuse to make it. And then we're also gonna do a small like traditional Thanksgiving, you know, type of setup. We might just do like a turkey breast or maybe even a small turkey. I don't know. And then, you know, we're going to do stovetop stuffing and I'm going to do candy yams, which are basically sweet potatoes. Or I think it's the other way around, like sweet potatoes are actually yams, something like that. Either way, I'm getting the canned, mashing them. I will probably make homemade mashed potatoes. So it's going to be very easy. It's not going to be anything super crazy. And then the eggplant, I will actually have that all fried and put together like the day before. And then all we have to do is stick that in the oven like before we eat. So it'll be very easy. I will probably drink mulled wine all day, <laughs> um, which I love around the holidays. I usually do mine in the crock pot. And then my mom really likes eggnog, so I always have eggnog for her for the holidays, and both Christmas and Thanksgiving. And then I put a little bit of the brandy in it and the nutmeg and all that stuff. So there we go. We've got a nice little base laid down. I'm going to start deepening it up, of course. I'm going to go into that shade right there and see what that will do. So yeah, let me know your plans, what you plan on like what you plan on doing or not doing, you know, like I said, I don't do much. I don't, I don't want to go out. I don't want to dress up. I don't want to have a bunch of people over. That's the thing. I'm not a big like entertainer either. Like I'm just not a big, um, I just don't do a lot of entertaining. That's doing a really nice job. I think I'm gonna really like this. You know, there's a lot of people that I work with that might not even have family in town and stuff like that. And I just, I, I part of me would love to be that person that like invites everyone over and stuff like that. But I'm just not, I'm just not that person, you know, like have a big friends, Friendsgiving kind of a thing. Um, it's like the person I want to be, but just not the person I am. You know what I mean? There we go. I'm like loving it. I don't even know if I want to, I don't know if I even want to go into the Smoky Browns palette. I might go into some of those darker brown shades to really smoke it out, but I'm kind of liking that this is kind of truly becoming like a cranberry look. So now I'm going to go into the um, Liquid Shadow. This is in Mystical. It's like a pretty shimmery cranberry. And I'm going to probably focus this on like the middle of my lid. Of course, I'm going to use my flat brush as always. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that's beautiful. Not going to go too far in because I'm going to use, of course, use that gold. You know me. Or I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm going to, listen, I'm open to doing something different. I'm going to put this on my, like, my whole lid. I'm still not going to do go too far in because sometimes I can go a little overboard there, but. Okay, so now I think I'm going to go in with the gold. So I'm going to go into the shade Pretty Poppin'. Like I said, it's kind of like a kind of like a goldish copper. I'm just going to use that same brush. I just kind of wiped it off. I'm going to put a little bit of that on my table. I don't want to use too, too much. I'm just going to blend those kind of together. There we go. I really, really, really like that. There we go. I'm liking it so far. So I'm going to stop right there for right now. 
We're going to move on and then we'll come back and add some details. But I like where it's at right now. Very much what I envisioned so far. So I just popped on some mascara, just one coat, because I'm going to use lashes, of course. I just use the Beauty Intuition Mascara. It's the one that comes in this silver tube. I don't know what the formula is. It's not great, but anyways. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just use my LA Colors Eye Marker. And of course, we're just going to do a wing like we normally do. So it has been like unseasonably warm here where I live. And um, the temperatures are getting ready to drop for a couple days. And um, then it's going to kind of get back up, I think, to a little bit nicer. Not quite as warm as where it was, where it's been, but yeah, it's been really nice. There's really kind of no warm, like, you know, like the feeling when it's like unseasonably warm. There's really kind of no warm like it. Like it, there's just something like it's actually like the last couple of days it's like felt it's felt wrong, you know, it's just been so warm and sunny and just not really feeling like November at all. Essentially the end of November almost, practically, you know, it's just not felt, but there's just something about that that just feels so magical, I don't know. Like I remember one year in February we had like an 80 degree day and that was just like, it just felt crazy, you know. I'm going to go in with a little bit of shadow. Um, I'm going to go back in with that shade right there and just kind of, I'm going to use it to kind of blend my, um, my liner. I'm going to do my lashes off camera and I will of course, and I will have my lash tutorial linked down below. If you're new to my channel, it's very beginner friendly and I show you some different tips and tricks. So I'm going to end up trimming these. And so yeah, these are little Mercery Bring on the Glam lashes and I am going to trim them, apply them and I will be right back. Okay, so my lashes are on and I also went ahead and applied my foundation powder and concealer. So I use the Be Pure Essentially Ageless Foundation and I use my LA Colors Pressed Powder. And of course the concealer you saw earlier. So now we're going to go into bronzer, blush, and highlighter. So for bronzer, I'm just going to go into my LA Colors Bronzer in Bronze. You know, a lot of this makeup here is easy to find, which is nice. Not every single thing, but um, this is one of those products. Of course the powder. The LA Colors Pressed Powder and the LA Colors Brow Pencils and the um, LA Colors Six Pan Palette as well. I really like this bronzer. I know it's a little too warm for some people. This is the lesser warm one. There's another shade and I think this one here is the lesser warm one. It's a little less coppery and a little bit more, I don't know, tan I guess you could say. See for me it just gets a really, really nice effect on the skin. And for blush, again, another readily available blush from LA Colors. They've since changed their packaging since I bought this one. That I still have the one in the white, but now they're in like a, kind of like a pink package. But this is Berry Plum, and they may have even made them better, although these here work beautifully for me. And I thought going with the plum kind of color scheme, I haven't used this blush in a while, so I thought I would give it some love and keep the color scheme going. I love these blushes. There we go. It's very easy for me to go overboard, but LA Colors makes it a little easier than like an Iomi for me. So there we go, just a nice little pop of plum blush. Then for highlighter, I kind of wanted something warm and like gold. So I went with this Ioni Face Highlighter and Bronzer. This is in Golden Glow. So it's just this nice gold shade. And I think it'll really nice with this kind of color story that we have going on. I'm gonna take a, like a little brush. I haven't used this in a good long while. It says highlighter and bronzer. It's definitely not a bronzer, but it's definitely like a bronzy highlighter. So there we go. Just a nice little highlight. So now we're going to go back and finish the eyes. And so I'm going to kind of line my waterline, of course. I'm just going to use my trusted Ioni um, eyeliner pencil. And I'm just going to go right into my waterline. I am going to smoke out under my eyes, add an under the brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight. So I did dye my roots. I've been talking about needing to do it for a good while. <laughs> and um, I'm actually filming a Dollar Tree review video after I film this. So I've got 10 products that I'm gonna review and, and that video is already up so I'll have it linked down below so you can hear my thoughts. And I've got some thoughts. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna do my under the brow bone highlight and of course I'm gonna go back into the Smoky Browns palette and go into that shade right there. I think I'm gonna use a brush. I'm gonna clean off my little flat brush. Go just a nice matte highlight. This Smoky Browns palette, of course, it's just mattes, and it just has anything that you would need. It's a complete. You can get so many looks using that. There we go. Very nice. So for an inner corner highlight, I'm just going to use more of that gold shade, and I'm going to take like a little 
tapered brush. I'm just going to take a little tapered brush and try to go with a light hand. Like I said, I am going to smoke out underneath as well. There we go. That is just enough. And I'm going to smoke out underneath with that shade right there. So now we're going to finish off with the lips. And so I'm going to be using, I'm, I am going to line my lips. I'm going to be using the Fat Lip Chubby Stick by Ioni. This is my favorite one. This is in the shade Plum. I have already used one of these up this year. And this is my other one. So of course we're going to do like a plum lip as well. Or a berry lip, you could say. So there we go, and I'm gonna use another Ioni lip product as well. This is the Ioni Liquid Lipstick. I don't know the shade, it doesn't have it on here, which is not always typical for Ioni, but it's it's a like a berry shade. I actually was looking for my LA Colors uh, Velvet Lip Mousse that was in like a berry shade. I can't find it, it's somewhere. But um, it's very similar to this, but, and I thought like a nice matte lip would be really nice. So there we go. We've just got a really nice, like, berry plum makeup look, which I think would be really nice for Thanksgiving. Like I said, I got some different ideas for Christmas and um, New Year's as well. Really rich, and like a nice little hint of shimmer, not too much, a nice warm color palette, I feel. I hope, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, hit that like button. Make sure you go check out some of my related content down below in the description box and give some of those videos a binge watch. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.